I'm Tom Varner, and this is Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we take a look at the life of Elijah Parrish Lovejoy. Most people nowadays, if they've heard of Elijah Lovejoy, it is because they've heard of him as being an abolitionist right before the Civil War. Elijah Lovejoy was actually a minister and a newspaperman. He was an advocate for the First Amendment, and he lost his life in defense of that. And today we're going to look around at some of the places in Alton, Illinois. We're going to take a look inside the Alton Museum of Art and History because they have some info on Elijah Lovejoy. Okay, that's the old rock house. That was the site where Elijah Lovejoy's anti-slavery society met. There's a placard about it. The old rock house was also a stop or terminal, if you will, on the Underground Railroad. Presbyterian Church there is the third church on that site, but it was on that site that the church that Elijah Lovejoy was a minister of was at. In front of the church here, there are a couple historical markers about Elijah Lovejoy. First is here about the church itself and Elijah Lovejoy. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote of Lovejoy, the brave Lovejoy gave his breast to the bullets of a mob for the rights of free, for the rights of free speech and opinion, and died when it was better not to live. Alright, now we are at the Hainer Library for Genealogy and Local History. We're inside. They're supposed to have part of the printing press of Elijah Lovejoy's that was thrown into the Mississippi River. And there it is. Stone is from Elijah Lovejoy's home in Albion, Maine. That's where he was from. And there's a, just a photograph to kind of show the type of printing press at that time looked like. There's another one right here. You can see the park. Although Lovejoy was anti-slavery, he really didn't become an abolitionist until later in his life. It was because of his anti-slavery views that were often published, as, published in his papers that so many people took offense at him. Elijah Lovejoy is buried in the Alton City Cemetery. Originally, 
His body was buried in an unmarked grave. However, years later, it was moved and placed here at its current location. little placard here at the Lovejoy Monument it talks about Elijah Lovejoy and the Alton Observer. These stone pillars here or markers here they talk about Lovejoy his life. He was killed on the day before his 35th birthday and he was buried on his 35th birthday. This side is difficult to read. It says, Minister of the, Go Minister of the Gospel, Moderator Walton Presbytery. The laws of my country fail to protect me. I appeal to God. With him, I cheerfully rest my case. I can die in my post, but I cannot desert it. Elijah P. Lovejoy. Champion of free speech, but gentlemen, as long as I am an American citizen, and as long as American blood runs in these veins, I shall hold myself at liberty to speak, to write, to publish whatever I please on any subject, being amenable to the laws of my country for the same. Sixty years after Lovejoy's death, this monument was finished and dedicated and placed at the front here at the Alton City Cemetery. It stands on one of the highest hills in the city and can even be seen from the riverfront. Elijah Lovejoy was a true patriot. He gave his life for a cause that is a part of the foundation, the very fabric of our, of our country, of our nation. The freedom of the press. But sadly, not many people know about Elijah Lovejoy. You should check him out. I am across the river at the Smallpox Island Memorial in West Alton, Missouri. And 
it's hard to see but I can see it and I know the camera and it's hard to see but I can see the Elijah Lovejoy monument from here it's just above and to the left of that big white structure I think I think it's a hospital but if you look up into right into the, the left corner of the hospital just over and you can see the Elijah Lovejoy monument put a different lens on the camera but you can see the Elijah Lovejoy monument from here and sorry my hands are shaky because it's kind of cold This has been another adventure in TV land. Thanks for watching. If you liked, hit the like button. If you disliked, hit the dislike button. Subscribe to my channel and ring that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap. Elijah Lovejoy has such a prominence as a part of the history in Alton. This wedding venue has even taken its name from him. <laughs>